Oh hello guys! So in this quick video as you can see you may have already guessed but yes I am running Ubuntu. This is the latest version 23.10. I was curious about it for a while now and I haven't been using the vanilla Ubuntu for well for a long time. Well, besides using it in the virtual machine for a couple of videos. So I got curious, everyone around the internet was praising this new release. So I thought, yeah, let's try it for myself and see what I think about it. I might really like it. So I have installed it and I'm using it for a day now. And to be honest, I have so much mixed feelings feelings about it but let me get started from the beginning I just want to I want to point out how the new app center it's pretty amazing actually I really like it it's really functional it works pretty good I really like it you have nice categories here, you have the search button, it's not really cluttered. You have all the information you need over here, plus you have the version of the package or application you want to install. And just pretty quick click install and that's it. Now, when I start setting up my system for, I wanted to use it for a while. I start using it and start setting it up. I start with the gaming stuff first. I don't know, it's just a habit. Don't ask me why, I don't game that much anymore. But anyway, so I start installing some packages, the basic stuff. When I start installing the Steam package, it happened something really interesting. So basically again, I didn't change any of the versions I use the default and just click install and as you can see I have already installed the steam on my system when I try to run it it says some kind of a error that I don't have the 32-bit libraries for the NVIDIA GPU, which is kind of weird. But anyway, it was a nice touch of the App Center that they gave you all the needed steps to install the needed software, which is really good. It worked perfectly fine. The Steam was finally working correctly. And when I start the Steam, None of my games started for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. But anyway, I tried to play with it a little bit. I have no much success. If you know guys how to fix that, just let me know. For example, let's start Path of Exile. Just click the play button, wait a little bit and nothing happens. See, nothing happens. So I have no idea what's up with that. I will do more research next few days. If you want, I will give you update about it. But anyway, let's continue. The next package I'm usually installing was Wootris, which I couldn't really find in the App Center. I find this really weird. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask. But the other problem I have is when you try to install Wootris on a Debian, you should download the .deb package which is again another problem i have no easy way to install the dot the package there is no edit package see there is no edit 
package or whatever the name was or the other one was I think GDB oh there it is so now you have to install this package and try to install the dot .deb package with that I did it the hard way actually with the terminal and using the dpkg which is ok for some reason it installed with some errors <laughs> again which I finally was able to fix and Wutris is starting but again I find this pretty weird I'm not able to install Wutris out of the app center I guess they will fix that they will include this package this application which is well I know it's not as big as Steam but many people in the Linux world are using it I think it's pretty easy to do it if PopOS can do it I guess Ubuntu the vanilla Ubuntu can do too but again I'm trying not to judge just guys let me know what you think about it how you fix all this maybe again I'm doing something wrong I have not much time to play with it but this is well basically not really okay anyway so just now I was trying to install the VLC package for some video content and my system froze from out of nowhere my system froze so I needed to hard reset it to be able to get back in Ubuntu I have no idea what's up with that again it's not supposed to be like that I'm pretty sure maybe something not okay with my hardware maybe I'm doing something wrong please let me know in the comments down below and I gonna I'm gonna leave the video like this right now I'm not gonna continue I'll let you know if I have any more updates so I'll see you later guys that's it from me bye